Ready, Rib? Ready to go? Hey, bums. I'm living on my boat for the next couple of days, camping and fishing on my Hughes craft. I'm bringing the GoPros, my dog. Come on with me. All right, we shoved off, uh, just leaving the Port Townsend Bay area, and uh, we're heading over the strait. So we're trying to make it over the strait in the next hour and a half because the wind starts to kick up a bit from the north. I'm gonna go ahead up through Cattle Pass on the inside of San Juan Island, fish around that area a little bit, look for some lingcod, and then uh, try and find camp for a night and uh, go stay on an island somewhere. Testing a lot of things for work gear and everything, so we'll see how the internet situation works with Starlink and uh, see how it functions on the boat. A lot of boats are trying to get out with the current and that nice wind window to cross over. So, seeing several boats. This is typically, Memorial Day weekend is typically uh, known to be super busy in the San Juan. So, you know, sleeping arrangements may be interesting, maybe anchoring up, maybe sleeping on a ball. We'd be lucky if we get a dock spot. Lopez Island. San Juan Island, Cattle Pass. This is one of my favorite little channels to pass through. It's gorgeous, great scenery. You've got the lighthouse over here on San Juan Island. This is the entrance to the island. I love it. Drop the line down. This looks like a pretty darn fishy spot. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> we made it. Voila, Salmon Islands. Let's drop the line down, see if we can catch a fish. Okay, no action, let's move. Alright, back on it. Suddenly it gets heavy. No thud. Bizarre. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a bitch. Dang, you're down there. There he is. Ah, damn. There's one. Oh, dude. Why can't I stick him? What do you think, Rib? Time to go? Huh? <laughs> time to go, are you ready? Yeah, I think it's time to go, huh? All right, we didn't have much success fishing that little area on the inside of San Juan Island. So we are just moving ahead. We're gonna head up towards Jones Island where I'm gonna try and stay for the night and uh, maybe we'll find some reefs around there just to fish a little bit closer to camp. The wind's gonna kick up here in about an hour or so. The further north we go, the less windy it'll be, so that's kind of what I'm shooting for. All right, so we ended up here at Stewart Island. Uh, James Island was absolutely packed. Decided to try it here at Reed Harbor and see if there's any opportunity to tie up to a ball or uh, anchor. But um, this seems like a better anchorage to come and, and drop the hook just because there's so much space, so. Boat. Hey, Griff. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Primo spot here on Stewart Island. This is probably my favorite island on San Juan Islands. Just so gorgeous. 
I got a sweet dock spot hunkering down. Probably be here for the next two days. Fish around tomorrow if the weather allows or just fart around. So, we'll keep you guys posted. I'm set to sleep in the berth of my boat. You can see it's pretty decent size. I brought my sleeping bag and pillow for ultimate comfort and it should be good for a couple weeks. Stewart Island is mostly state park. There are some private residences. Uh, there's 433 acres to camp and three and a half miles of hiking trails and a really cool lighthouse at the point. Toilets are composting and there's no garbage surface, so pack what you bring. There is a pump out station for boats. You'll need to register and pay when you arrive at the campsite unless you're planning on anchoring. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a fishy spot. Watch out for day two of my San Juan camping adventure where I catch a beauty, but not before I make an epic rookie mistake. Found him. 